Hey everybody, it's me Kalani. Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? How are you? I'm good, you know. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my night routine. So yay, night routine. I've already filmed my night routine once before, but it's when I live back at home with my family. And so I wanted to just do another one because that one did so well. So I wanted to do another one, but kind of just updated because now I live by myself in my apartment. So my night routine is just a little different than what it was whenever I was back home, as you know. And I kind of just wanted to do that. Nothing special. Just gave you my night routine. It's going to be fun. It's definitely different. And I can show you a few tips and tricks about how I like calm myself down with my anxiety, just how I do my skincare routine and all of that. But also stick around for this video because I'm going to have a little story time in this about how I got this scar on my hand because a lot of you guys have been asking what happened to my hand and I realized I never really told you. I just kind of was like I had to get stitches. But I never really told you what happened. So I'm going to give you a little rundown on that too in this video. So right now I'm going to go run a bath because as you can tell my hair looks really nice and beautiful and shiny and curled thanks to my sponsor in this video. So right after this little segment you're going to see how I get my beautiful hair. But since my hair looks so good I am not going to take a shower or wash it today. I'm going to take a nice soothing bath which I occasionally do once a week so you guys are seeing like a really dramatic nighttime routine. But next segment. All right guys so a lot of you have been asking what products I use for my hair in my DMs and my comments. Recently I've been using Function of Beauty. I love their products and have been using them so thank you so much Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. During these past few quarantine months I've been taking a lot of time for self-care and part of that journey is your hair obviously and as you can tell it is so silky and smooth thanks to these products. Another thing that is great about Function of Beauty is that they customize each bottle to your hair needs which is amazing because everybody's hair is different. They make it so simple all you have to do is go to the Function of Beauty website take a quick and easy two minute quiz to figure out what products suit your hair. <laughs> you get to choose your bottles and what color and fragrance you want your products to be and they have your name on it so mine obviously says a function of Kalani which I think is adorable and so cute and so specialized to you. And that's it and then all your products get shipped to you on your front doorstep which is so easy simple we love that. Make sure to go into the link in my description to get 20% off your first order. Function of Beauty is also 100% vegan cruelty free no sulfates none of that gross stuff it's all just super healthy and clean which is great for your hair so thank you Function of Beauty for being clean. Also I love how Function of Beauty is making positive changes by changing all of their boxes to 100% craft recyclable packaging which is amazing plus they are changing their bottles to PCR bottles instead of using new virgin plastics. Don't forget to use the link in my description to get 20% off your first order. If you've ever used Function of Beauty products before comment down below what your favorites are and if you've never used them before and you are going to use my code to get them comment down below what your new favorite products are. I love these products so much I feel like they've made my hair so much shinier so much cleaner so much softer. I have been loving this hair mask that I got and I've been using this about like two or three times a week and I feel like it has really helped my hair not really have any dead ends and just keep it really like soft and smooth. I keep like feeling my hair because it's just so soft and amazing thanks to these products. So anyways let's get back to the video. Okay, so I just got out of the bath. I put my little favorite little robe on. It has like stains all over it because I always do my makeup in it and stuff. It's my favorite robe. It's so soft and comfy. Um, I'm gonna take my hair out of this little shenanigans. I just didn't want it to get wet. So I like to take baths probably like at least like once or twice a week, especially on like self-care days. Like today's Sunday. So I wanted to just have a little bit of a self-care day. You know, had a long day. So now I'm just gonna like take a shower and all of that. So now I'm probably just gonna go. It's still kind of early. My dinner's gonna be here. It's like 8.15, so my dinner, I postmated food today. Like I said, I don't wanna cook, I don't wanna do anything. I postmated some sushi, which I'm excited about. So I'm probably just gonna go sit and like watch some TV on my couch, make a little tea. I have like this really good apple tea and this really good like green calming tea. So I'm gonna go make some tea, just go chill on my couch, relax. I have been re-watching Euphoria because Euphoria is one of my favorite shows. So I'm re-watching it right now. But I'm going to go sit down and we're going to have our little story time first, actually. We're going to have our little story time first. And then I'm going to watch some Euphoria and I'm going to drink my tea.
Okay guys, so now I have my little tea, I have my robe on, my blanket, I'm all chill, ready to relax. Now we're here for a little story time. Okay, so the reason why I have this scar on my hand, a lot of you guys have been asking because I posted how I had to get stitches. Honestly, the story is not that great, but I feel like a lot of you guys have been asking about it, so I'm just gonna give it to you because you guys wanted to hear why I got stitches on my left hand. But basically, so I have like these glasses, like these certain cups that are actually like glass. They're like my special glasses like I use them occasionally like I have some plastic ones and then I have some glass ones and one day I was being fancy and like one night I gave all of them like I had um I had like one friend over and we used like my glasses for like just literally just water and so whatever I used them and then I just put them in my sink and the next morning I went to go wash all my dishes being a responsible adult like I am and I was washing my dishes and I was washing the cup and the cup had like a little crack in it for some reason I don't know why and then all of a sudden it just like shattered Ooh, a text message. Ooh, let's see who it's from. Um, yeah, let's just say that it's definitely just Postmates. <laughs> cool. But anyways, so I was washing my dish and it broke and it just literally just cut my hand open, like a little sliver right there. And I was just looking at it and it looks like pretty deep. Like I've cut my hand on a knife before on this finger. I just am really bad with things in the kitchen. <laughs> but anyways, I just cut my hand open and it was like gushing blood and then it stopped for a little bit and I was just looking at it and I was like, yeah, that's definitely gonna need stitches. So I called my mom, FaceTime her, showed her. And then I had my friend come pick me up because I'm a lefty. So I I just didn't think I could like drive. I felt like it wasn't safe because I really couldn't like bend my hand. So I had my friend come pick me up and then we went to urgent care. I had to get six stitches, which isn't very fun like at all, you know, but it was kind of cool. Like I haven't gotten stitches since I was like, I think I, last time I got stitches, I was seven or eight in my forehead. A girl swung a bat and hit me in the head, like swung, literally swung the bat into my head and then I had to get like 10 or 12 stitches on my forehead. So I had to get stitches. It felt really weird. I had stitches for about out a week and then I just got them out but I'm sad because it's scarring really bad you probably can't really tell from the camera but it's scarring really bad and like this is like my wedding hand like one day hopefully maybe possibly I am gonna get married or engaged or something and have a ring on this finger and I have this really ugly scar so I'm like trying to find some good creams scar creams to make it better so if you know of any like Mederma I know is like a thing so like I'm gonna get Mederma but like if you know of any good ones that I should like buy please let me know in the comments so that I don't have this ugly scar forever. Okay, now that my story time is done, I am just got a text message again. I'm so popular. Wow. It's no, it's just my postmates. But anyways, I'm going to just chill, relax for a little bit. It's like 8:30 or like it's 8:45, I think. Yeah, it's 8:45. So I'm just gonna chill out, watch some TV for a little bit before I take off all my makeup and everything, just in case I want to do like a little story for the Instagram or a little Snapchat to somebody, you know, cute or special, you know? So I'm gonna keep my makeup on for a little bit and then I'm gonna go do my nighttime routine after I finish this episode of Euphoria. And hopefully my Postmates come soon so I can eat my sushi. <laughs> Okay, so I just put my cute little PJ dress on. I usually, I've never slept in like cute pajamas until recently. Only this one's cute because it's so like soft and comfy. Now it's time for me to go to bed. I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm gonna put my hair back actually. And I'm just gonna wash my face off. I currently have been having the worst breakouts ever. And I kind of just wanted to talk about it because I feel like everybody thinks that like, not just me in general, but like every person's skin needs to be like flawless. And and like look I have so many breakouts going on right now and like my skin is definitely not perfect I've been having a lot of breakouts a lot recently and I want you guys to know if anybody is having like skin that's breaking out or anything like it happens it's okay like obviously it's no fun but like it's more important like and not everything's about what you look like I feel like a lot of times people are always thinking that the only thing that matters is like what you look like and that's just so not true and I've learned that a lot about myself lately I've been doing lots of therapy and things like that and I feel like sometimes even on my Instagram I could come off like really like well I care about his looks and this and it's like so funny because that is not me at all like you can literally talk to all my friends and like I just don't care and so I just want you guys to know that like it's okay to have breakouts it's okay to not have perfect clear skin like it doesn't matter it happens to all of us it literally happens to everybody I'm sure that everybody has had a pimple in their life and I am not a blessed person I have kind of had acne most of my teenage years and I'm working on it right now but like most skin is not clear and not perfect and 
and you know I'm very insecure about it truthfully because a lot of my friends do have clear perfect skin and I just want you guys to know I don't know where I'm going with this because I'm kind of just speaking but like I hope you know that it's okay to like have breakouts like if you can't tell my skin is literally breaking out all right here and like no it's not fun and I don't enjoy it but like it doesn't define me and it doesn't make me me like I try my best to not really worry about it like I'm never going to be perfect that's just not me and I want you guys to know that you don't need to strive to be perfect because there's all these expectations over Instagram and TikTok now and all these things that you need to be the most perfect most beautiful human and I just want you guys to know that you are beautiful the way you are no matter what anybody says as long as you have a beautiful soul and you're a nice human you're great there's no need to worry about it and just want, I don't know where I'm going with this I really don't but I just want to know that I, I want you guys to know that I love you and that it's okay to have breakouts and nobody's perfect we're not gonna be perfect and if people ever call me perfect thank you but trust me I'm the furthest thing from perfect so I'm just gonna go wash my face really quick with my cleanser and do my little skincare routine And then whenever I'm patting my face, I always make sure to pat and not drag because dragging will give you wrinkles in life. And we gotta make sure we don't get wrinkles young. I might be 19, but I don't want wrinkles ever. I mean, luckily my jeans are great because my mom literally looks like she's 20, which is super exciting for me. So hopefully that happens to me, but I don't wanna get any wrinkles anytime soon. Now I'm gonna put on my serum right here. And next is my moisturizer. Sorry, I'm like bending over because the way I set up my camera, it's kind of low, but I'm too lazy to fix it and get a tripod. It's no time. I'm tired. I don't care that much. Always bring it down your neck. I'm gonna get a little more. No wrinkles on that neck, so we always bring down the neck. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of my eye cream on because all of a sudden I'm getting these crazy wrinkles. I mean, not wrinkles. Really bad under eye bags. And I don't really know what it's from, but I hate them and I need them to go. So I'm very strict with my skincare routine also because like I said, my skin's been breaking out. And then next, I'm gonna take my little blemish buster from Sonia Dakar. She's my facialist and all of these are her products. But um, this hasn't really helped me with any like breakouts if I really wanted to go like away overnight. This is like my product. It kind of looks like, like the Mario Modesco type stuff, but like this is definitely better. So I just put this over any blemishes I have that I want to literally be gone in the morning or I just want them to simmer down. I put this on every night and sometimes like in the morning if I'm not doing anything, like not leaving my house, which I haven't really been a lot lately, I put this on so that it just dries up any acne. It's that time of the month for me right now, so I'm definitely breaking out more just because obviously if you're a girl, you know, it happens. It's that time of the month, so I'm breaking out a little more, but it'll be okay. I put a ton on. This is like my favorite stuff. Put it everywhere. Now I'm just gonna brush my teeth, you know, the full shabam. A little dance party. Oh, I brush my teeth. Oh! <laughs> Then the last step is some Aquaphor. I'm obsessed with Aquaphor. I put it on like 50 times a day. I can't stand chapped lips. So, little Aquaphor. Now it's time to go lay in bed, relax. Do a little meditation and then pass out. Let's go to my room. Okay, so I'm in my bedroom at my bed. I need to put something there. That's why I haven't done an apartment tour yet. I honestly haven't finished my apartment. But anyways, I'm gonna put like a big nail on my door. Not the point of this. Anyways, so now it's kind of time for me to like calm down. Skincare routine's done. Everything's going. And what I like to do whenever I'm going to bed, I like to meditate in the mornings, but I also like to meditate at night. So there's this app called Calm, and this isn't like an ad or anything. I just literally use it all the time. And they have really like peaceful music that I sometimes like to listen to when I'm going to bed but they also have like different meditation things so like right now I'm doing seven days of calm and you basically just listen to the meditation and it just gets me like tired and sleepy and like ready for bed so I'm just gonna take a few minutes to just do a little meditation just to calm me down um I've talked about it before on my channel but I've struggled with anxiety for a while now and a lot of you guys have asked to like what helps you with anxiety so this is definitely one thing that has helped me I've been feeling a little bit more anxious anxious lately and I don't really know what that reasoning is but I've just been feeling really anxious at night too having a hard time falling asleep whatnot even like just feeling kind of anxious so I like to do some meditations and things like that just to really calm me and center me it works for me it's great for me I don't know if I don't know sometimes people tell me that I might be talking about my anxiety a little bit too much on this channel but it's just something that's really me and it's something that I've struggled with for the past two years now and has really taken a toll on me and I'm still you know every day with anxiety you're learning how to you know live with it 
it because it's not going to really go away technically so I'm just kind of learning how to handle it and I know that some of you guys have it too or struggle with it too so some of these things might help you and that would make me really happy if they helped you so I'm going to do a little meditation really quick and yeah I'm not going to meditate on camera so I'm going to turn off my camera and meditate for a second I'm just doing the seven days of calm on the calm app and then I'm going to lay down and get ready for bed okay guys I am going to head to bed I always have to sleep with water next to me so I just got my water my pimple cream on looking amazing I'm probably just gonna lay down right now maybe check on some Instagram or whatnot before and then I'm just gonna put on my calming music and go to sleep so yeah that's my nighttime routine here in my apartment a little different than from when I was at home but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you all so much make sure to like comment subscribe very grateful for you guys for following me along on my YouTube channel yeah that's really it so I hope you guys have a great day or a great night whenever you're watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting me. Bye!